Yeah, hey, welcome back, hey, everybody. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Roll with the, troll. with the Troll. Thanks a lot for all the support lately, you guys. The comment section is getting more and more interesting every fucking day about these videos. That's awesome. Yeah, we appreciate all the compliments and all the support, you guys. This is a really a fun channel for us. So today we're talking about, for the first time in a little while, we're talking about Star Wars again. Yeah. Now, before we get into this, about everything we know about the Obi-Wan TV series on Disney+, Plus, mm -hmm. I, I got to tell you, I am... I have been losing a lot of interest in Star Wars over the years. That Disney trilogy was... Yeah, the last trilogy kind of sunk it. Yeah, that really sunk it. In fact, that's what launched this channel years ago. Was it when did. The Last Jedi came out. I didn't have a YouTube channel, and I needed to complain to the masses yeah. about it being the biggest disappointment in the history of film. You needed I, an outlet for all of your rage about the, the last trilogy. I, it, I did, because the neighbors were tired of hearing. I, I was just yeah. showing up at neighbors I didn't even know, and I'm knocking at the door <laughs> two in the morning drunk, and I'm like, fucking Luke would never act like this. That's Jake Skywalker. And they're like, who are you? Do you live around here? You're funny. So I was doing that for so long, I finally thought, all right, start a YouTube channel and just troll on Star Wars. So that's really... The whole genesis of this channel. Yeah. This is way before we had Cobra Kai and, and all yeah. those other things to talk about. So anyway, that happened. Then I had high hopes for the TV shows on Disney+. Plus. I thought, well, at least Mandalorian's pretty cool. Uh -huh. And then I got into Boba Fett. You might remember, and I'll put a link to the video here in the description, but we did review the first episode of Boba Fett. Yeah. Then we watched the other episodes, and I thought, <laughs> you know what? This blows too. So, like, I can't even now say, I, I was hoping to be the kind of troll who can just say, hey, I like Star Wars a lot still. I'm just dismissing, I'm writing off the Disney trilogy. Because, by the way, I should say, I like Solo. I know, that sounds crazy. I like I know. Solo. I know. Yeah, I, we did like that. Yeah, most people really a think A lot it more sucks. than most. <clears throat> I know, it, it sounds crazy. I know people thought there was, like, woke stuff in it and all that. I didn't really feel that. I thought... I thought Solo, you know, it's not the best movie in the world, but I thought it was good. I'm it glad It was we definitely it. not as bad as as you would have been led to believe reading reviews online. Yeah, and in it, Rogue One, much also, better it was kind of fashionable for people like me to not like. Yeah. I didn't understand why. I thought Rogue One was good. A little boring here and there, but it was a good movie. I loved it. Yeah, so anyway, don't mean to review those two, but when it comes to where we are now, I'm all disheveled with Star Wars. So this Obi-Wan series, on one hand, there's a part of me that's like, hey, huh? Getting, getting, <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of cool. It'll be fun. And on the other hand, there's a part of me that's like, come on, I, I, I sort of give up on Star Wars in a way that the Disney trilogy was so awful. Um, again, I, I, I think Mandalorian's cool. Mandalorian not, is excellent. I love well, it. I see. It's cool. And then Boba Fett really lost me. So I don't I just fucking this one. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Yeah. I don't know what I want to consider canon anymore. Right. Because there's there's more bad well, than good Star Wars now. You realize? Yeah, they don't know either. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about what everything we know about Obi-Wan Obi -Wan. so far. All right. Yes. So we know it's on Disney Plus. OK, we know that, which yeah. right off the bat, <laughs> that's that's not the great. I wish this was like this could be a Netflix show somehow. You know, I wish we could do mm -hmm. that. I think Netflix would handle it a little bit better. But anyway, all right. We know Vader is in it. So yeah. this whole thing, let, let's clear up a, a little controversy, right? You had a belief that Vader couldn't be in it. Well, I mean, I just had some... I, when I heard that they were going to do an Obi-Wan series, I was a little perplexed. And this is why I don't personally write creative stories, because I thought about, well, this is... The time frame that they're looking at is approximately those 20 years that that Luke is hidden on Tatooine and what could they possibly what story could they possibly tell about Obi-Wan because he has to keep a low profile and he can't really, you know, be spending time off planet getting into adventures and whatnot. And he can't have an interaction with Vader because in episode 4 when they duel it's clear that they haven't seen each other. See it, it, it's it's not though. This is where what? this is where they can do some light retconning and it'll be okay. You're we thinking, hate retcons. Well, yeah, but but this one it's not necessarily it's a light retcon. I'll explain. All right. In episode four, Vader's exact words are, "You little prick. The last time I saw you, you were the master, and now I'm the fucking master, and you got a little cock." That's what he says. Okay. Um. It's I'm paraphrasing, but that's that's generally what Vader was getting at. All right. Now uh, that doesn't necessarily. I'm now, gonna roll. You're with gonna this roll one. with the troll on this yeah. one. Now listen, I I know obviously what they meant at the time of that film was he was referring to the last time they fought, which was on Mustafar, when he really became Vader, right? That's what he meant. That's what Vader meant. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, okay, well, it still works if if he fought with, if, if the two fought, say, 10 years prior and on Tatooine. That still works. So we can see that in this show. 
He sensed a presence that yeah. he hasn't felt in a long time. Right, because it was many like years before. Think about it, Luke is like 19 or something when, when that, that happens. Mm -hmm. So, okay, their last fight between the two of them has to be something like, yeah, maybe when Luke is like 10 or so, 10 or 11. That's fine. That would still count? That would still fit the, the Vader quote in episode four? Of course. All yeah. right. If Vader doesn't say it was 20 years ago yeah, on I Mustafar, know. if he did, then you can't do the show. You can't have Vader on this, this Obi-Wan show mm -hmm. because that would fuck it up too much and you can't really do that. Look, let's keep in mind another retcon they did. In episode four, uh, Obi-Wan also says, I don't recall owning droids before. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, I know. That's they... just dismissed and I don't like it. I don't like retcons, but it's just fully thrown out the damn window as far as why that's a problem. They, they just ignore it. This one's a bigger one because it's not just as simple as does he know the droids. This is this is a major quote from Darth Vader from a you know very important character. Right. So I get that, but again, the quote works if they fight. He just they couldn't have fought like a week ago. That's all. You need a good amount of time. Yes. You know. Between, yeah. Okay. I got you. Between the two, so I think it's okay. I don't think that quote matters. I just think it's it's a little funny to all the fans because we know that that's not what Vader meant. He didn't meet. You know, he didn't mean that mm -hmm. there was just a problem. Anyway. Okay. It's fine. So don't let that slow I you down. I stand corrected. Yeah, very corrected. That's not Thank a problem. Thank you, troll. So <laughs> we, here's a couple other things we know. We know this comes out in May, May 25th, I think. Uh, May 25th. It's only going to have six episodes. Oh. Once again, it's not. A, I, I keep saying this. That's not a show to me. That's right. just. That's just make it a movie. Make it a kind of a long movie. Call it a mini series. A, a TV show from the way we grew up was like 23 episodes a season, mm -hmm. right? You had yeah. a real show. Yeah. And although they were only 22-minute shows, ultimately you got a lot of program. You could go deep into the characters. When it's a five or six or seven, like Boba Fett episode season, yeah. it's, it's not a season. It's just, just right. like, call it what it is. Don't You're barely we're... getting into it and bam, it's gone. Well, and then and then I love too when people say like, oh, are you going to binge watch it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? You're going yeah. to watch <laughs> 45 minutes a week and remember what happened. They're not even set up where you can really necessarily, they're not set up where you can remember it from week to week necessarily. Mm. All the little details and nuances. and so you gotta They do the little it. recap thing though. Well, a little bit. It's, it's Look, it's stupid. Nobody watches it that way. It's not set up to be watched that way anymore in my opinion. It's just oh. not. They're, they're, they're fitting too much in. It was different when, when you had a series like, like, like on CW, like The Flash and The Arrowverse, right? Yeah. Those shows still do usually close to 20 something episodes a season, right? Or even more depending. COVID mm -hmm. fucks some of that up. But So there's not tremendous things happening in one episode. You yeah. know what I mean? There's, there's enough for you week to week. You can kind of recap yeah. here, a bulk of the storytelling for the scene. Anyway, look, you get it. So, yeah. So what do we think is going to happen um, with Obi-Wan? Well, in, I got a theory. I think Obi-Wan needs food on Tatooine. So I think he is going to be, you know, how he can control stormtroopers minds. Yeah. I think when the stormtroopers start getting all over Tatooine, He's going to like control them into like killing each other and then he'll eat their corpses <laughs> Ew, for survival. Come on. Well, doesn't that just lend itself to the Star Wars no, mythos? No, it doesn't. It seems okay. Well, I got other ideas. Um, other ideas aren't that good though. This was like my better one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now I, I think, look, I'm hoping the show is better than Boba Fett. I'm hoping it's better than Mandalorian. I like Mandalorian, but I would like for this to, you know, th those shows don't have enough subplots. And I want this to be rich with subplots because, like, that was my big complaint about Boba Fett mm. is that it, it just – there wasn't really much meat to it. Like, I want to know that there's this villain over here waiting in the wings. And then this guy's got a problem with this guy and they both have a problem with Boba Fett. And maybe they'll team up. Maybe they won't. Like, I want rich – storytelling with mm -hmm. lots of really colorful characters layers yeah that they could all be inter you know kind of instead what did boba fett do they introduced the huts yeah and right as i was starting to think okay cool, cool yeah this is cool he's gonna fight the hut then the huts showed up and they go hey we're they're out they're running away yeah they're like we're, <laughs> we're just we're gonna let it go not we're not interested there was no shootout there was no threat there was yeah. no like knife to anyone so nothing they just they're like they left with a parting gift it was so right. stupid a parting gift for Boba. It was so dumb. I mean, that show, every time they, they tried to tell me they had a story, then they had to show me they, we don't really have a story. Yeah. I'm praying that Obi-Wan's not that exact same way. Me too. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that here, look at all they could do here. The stormtroopers are going to start getting all over Tatooine, right? From uh -huh. the, uh, well, depending when they take this, like this story could be set once that's already there, like several years after mm -hmm. episode three. Mm -hmm. Um. 
I, I tell you, I'd love to see Darth Maul here. I think that's important. I think Darth Maul should be on the show. Yeah. The rumor is that he is not involved with the show. Oh. But I'm hoping that's just a tightly kept secret that he actually is on the show. Yeah, we could get a little more origin on him. A lot more. Yeah, it'd be great. I mean, that's we know he didn't really die in episode one. He was cut in half. It doesn't matter. He's fine. It's Star Wars. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine. He's fine. Remember, okay. we see him in Solo. I, yeah. I'm doing spoilers left and right here, guys. I apologize. If if you didn't know the Star Wars mythos until now, now you do. Because yeah. I just spoil all kinds of shit. We do. Yeah, but I'm just not sure what else they could do with the show. I'm excited from... to have Hayden Christensen back, though. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody really loved him. <laughs> no, they did not. Yeah, that's fine. It's cool that he's playing Darth Vader. And I, I guess the reason he's playing Vader... A fan, you know, fan sure. service, right? The fans want it. But also, supposedly, the excuse is that they're going to, the reason why they needed him was that they're going to show him a lot with a mask off. Yeah. Which I don't think fits a story either. Once the helmet's on, doesn't it have to stay on unless he's in his little, uh, unless he's at that, uh, what's that fucking thing called? I don't know what it's called. Count but... Dracula thing that he goes to. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but uh, all right. I'm interested to see what they do with that and how they handle that. And I'm excited for to see uh, Hayden Christ- Christensen again. So, Joel Edgerton is also, his fat ass is coming back to do uh, Owen Lars. He'll be playing Owen Lars again. So that's mm. kind of cool. So at least we're, we're keeping, I like that they're keeping a lot of familiar faces when they do these shows. And, yeah. You know, they, they don't really recast. They, they work pretty hard to keep the same actors and such. That's really cool. Yeah, we love it. I just, again, I want world building. I want subplots. And... I, I just want real things to be going on. I, I want, like, it'd be great if for a little while there are a few stormtroopers who are, or maybe even Boba Fett. We could work young Boba Fett into this, couldn't we? Sure. He was around then. Yeah. Right? How young was he? Yeah, he was young. He was, he was all right, because he would have been in his 20s, maybe 30 even at this point. So young Boba Fett could be involved here somehow. He was on Tatooine, I think. Yeah. So that would be cool. There's just there's things they could do to give him little enemies and a story of Obi-Wan trying to stay under the radar and not get attention drawn to him, but yet there's little crimes going on and shit that he feels mm-hmm. obligated to do something about, that would be a nice moral test. Yeah. I don't know how you fit that into six episodes. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you even have time for, for that kind of building with only six episodes. Again, this, this should be a longer thing, but whatever. Disney wants to just just barely like just, just say, look, we've got an idea for a Boba Fett show. So... Here's Boba Fett doing almost nothing. There. We get points for Boba Fett. <laughs> right. And they might do the same with Obi-Wan. They might, they, look, you want Obi-Wan. You want him on Tatooine. You want Darth Vader, right? Yeah. Okay, we're going to throw those together. Check, check, with, check. Yeah, check, check, check the boxes. Almost no real story. I think that's what's going to end up happening. I hope not. We'll find out on May 25th. Yeah. And we'll see what, what's going to happen. But so far, we don't know much about the series. And in the back in the day, when you didn't know much about a series, mm-hmm. that was be- or a, a movie, it was because like it was there was really good plots being kept under wraps. Right. Yeah. These days with Disney Plus, it's because they don't really have a story and there's nothing to talk about. And if there was anything interesting, it'd be leaked. But they have nothing interesting. I'm convinced of that. Mm-hmm. I really am. After I mean, Mandalorian's cool, like I said, Boba yeah. Fett had nothing. Boba Fett was a mess. Yeah. And now they, with they this need one, to do some regrouping on Boba. Especially because Boba just came out, and now this is coming out only a few months later. Mm-hmm. I have a bad feeling that, although it, I'm sure it has a different showrunner and all that, I just have a bad feeling that this one, maybe they, they should stop and say, look, Boba Fett did not turn out well. They were like they were retconning within the show. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Maybe they should slow down on this one, you know? But anyway, we'll see what the fuck happens. I yeah. don't know. Like I said, I kind of give up on Star Wars in a way. Star Wars to me in many ways I has been relegated to sadly cannot I cannot I can't give up on Star Wars. I totally have to disregard that last trilogy, but I I still love the the whole thing so much that I have such high hopes every time a new show comes out. So I'm hoping that Obi Wan can can lift me back up. To me there is more bad than good in Star Wars now. Uh, but the same could be said for the Halloween series, which I love, right? There's yeah. more, there are essentially more kind of bad films there. I guess the difference though is the the films there that are sort of underwhelming are still entertaining enough for me. Mm-hmm. The bad Star Wars to me, I can't, there's no value. Like I literally, like on a Saturday afternoon with just some time to kill, putting the TV on mm-hmm. in a million years, I wouldn't put on Last Jedi. You know, I, yeah. I would no way. Yeah. It's just that's ridiculous. And I don't even think I could put on Boba Fett because aside from the aside from the cool looks and the costumes and, and all that, the, the, the CGI is good. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I, I could not get into that story. And so here we go with Obi-Wan. I have a bad feeling. I, mean, I got a bad feeling about this. 
<clears throat> that episode one is going to give us no real I have plot. high hopes. Well, we'll see what happens. Guys, let us know what you think. And maybe you know some shit that I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the bell, and all that other stuff. We've got plenty more videos coming about Star Wars shows, about Obi-Wan. We'll review it when it comes out. And certainly more Cobra Kai videos coming, too. Yeah, so. we can't stop on that. Yeah, yet. we definitely can't. Thanks again, guys, for all the support.